we got here is we got some old like oil containers. Take junk and make it into something that you can sell. We're gonna pull this apart, put our positive and negative on. Three, two, one. Ooh. Covered in mammoth tusk. That's a lot of money! Hello! It's me, your host, Joseph J. Fowler. I know, I know what you're gonna say. What's all this stuff on my table? And what does that have to do with me? What is this? What, what is this? What are these funnels doing here? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys. What I'm doing is something for my wife. Uh, she wanted to be involved, so we might have her a little bit in later, but we wanted to make some side lamps for our bed. Now, guess how much this is? I don't know either. They're gonna put a number down below. Whoa! That's a lot of money! I'll see another one. Whoa! That's a lot of money! That's a lot of money! Wow! What goes for a lot of money these days is rustic, uh, for better term, garbage. I was in the trash supply and I found these funnels and I was like, what, doesn't that kind of look like some kind of rustic lampshade? And I go, yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. What are we gonna make the body out of, the main unit? So, what we got here is we got some old, like, oil containers. So we're gonna peel these open with a can opener, fill the insides with lamp parts, or as I like to say, lamp guts, and then we're gonna put them back together. I think we're gonna paint some really cool, like, little designs on the front of these. And I want you guys to remember this. You guys can take junk and make it into something that you can sell. A lot of people are doing this these days, reclaimed, uh, materials and reclaimed products are really, really popular. But anyways, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna get started. So this is going to be the internal frame that holds everything together. Nice. I mean, that's pretty neat coming out of there. Pretty perfect. Got a flexible light all peened out in the end. Okay guys, now to everyone's favorite part of any project in the household is wiring. The ability to potentially do it wrong and shock yourself. Wow, electric, I love it. We're gonna get our end, pull it right through. And remember, this is what we're left with, is our bracket, goes to the cover, goes down, that will be inside, and then we have wire coming out of it. We've peened it over, so it's not gonna move. And we are going to start with one of these, which is just the lamp guts. You could use anything. Uh, I found these because they're low profile, they're not very big, and I want this to fit way deep inside the funnel. So, we're gonna pull this apart, and then from there, we're gonna put our positive and negative on, and hopefully we have a positive time. Split your wires. Now, generally, if I remember right, the one with the writing is always gonna be your positive. Positive is gonna to go to your gold screw, and then your negatives are going to go to your white screw. Uh, also, another trick to remember, uh, when you are putting your wires on here, wrap them uh, clockwise, not counterclockwise. Wrap them around clockwise, and what that will do is as you tighten the screw clockwise, uh, it won't spit the wire right out because a lot of times you put the wire underneath the screw head, you start to tighten it up, 
and it just turns it right out, and then you end up having to redo the whole thing. It's all adding things to make it look rustic and cool. So I've got this copper edge banding usually used to hold up pipes, and I'm gonna be using this just to add a little bit of copper flare. So guys, uh, here is our bedside lamp, and I think it looks pretty sweet. It's got the copper on it. We're gonna have the steel pipe coming out of the bottom. And to kind of match it, I've got these cool uh, pipe holders that will actually pull that pipe out from the wall a little bit. So we'll have more of a 3D look and we'll have that industrial pipe running down the wall, hiding the cord. And it'll have these like little copper bracket holders I think look pretty sweet. Uh, so before we distress this, I'm gonna pound out the other one. I'm gonna throw this in time lapse and you'll get to see a quick version of what I just did. I wanted to show you, this is something I painted a while back. Now, this is something that I did for, this is a cover for um, a fireplace. And I wanted to do, this is a famous painting of the moon. And I wanted to kind of have that old timey vibe to it. So this is what I painted, and we are going to do a sun on one of these and a moon on the other. Now, I'm not going to do a full moon like this. My wife decided she wanted a uh, crescent moon with some stars. So we're going to put some painter's tape on it. We're going to cut out that shape, and then we're going to paint in between the lines. And uh, that's what we're going to do, guys. It's going to be uh, pretty stellar, interstellar, some would say. I get a planet joke in there somewhere. Anyways, let's get going. turned out really really nice the sun and the moon got a couple stars sprinkled in there one two three and a bunch of little specks sticks do you like the lamps do you like them mm -hmm. yeah oh, no that's like Turn mine on. Boom. Ba boom. Whoa, look at that. You happy with them? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. It only took what, three years of asking me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how all the the metallic paint sparkles off of everything. Okay guys, well if you liked this project. Don't forget to like and subscribe, my favorite thing to say. Anyways, guys, we're done. That's it. It was a quick project. I think they came out pretty cool. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a while. It took me a long time to try to get to it. But uh, quick little project. Uh, if you want to see more of these, like, you know, little five, 10 minute projects, uh, let me know. It's fun to do. I'm sure my wife appreciates it. So, you know, we could do more of these. Something you don't have to watch a 15, 20 minute video. You just get the end result in good five, 10 minutes. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Bye.